Not more than 30. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We just must, must keep the door open. Amen. The door, not only the physical door, amen, but the publicity door. The media door that, as the, the preacher said earlier, that across the world they are seeking to hear what to do. Yes, just this week they're contacting us and they're telling us that God already showed you what's going to happen to the Yellowstone Park. Because the scientists said that if the Yellowstone Park explodes because the Yellowstone Park is undergirded by volcanic uh, 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 magma that they say can destroy the whole of America. So some have concluded that if God had been revealing the hurricanes and, and the earthquakes and the diseases and, uh, and the violence uh, uh, across the world, then it means if it's the same God, then he has told you what's going to happen. Come on, somebody. It's only when they're in trouble they begin to reason properly and begin to understand that if, if God did that, then he will do this. If he say this, then say that, then he will say this. So they come to the conclusion, if, if God show you so much big things, then it means that he has showed you what's going to happen to the Yellowstone. Huh? And you don't want to tell us. Why won't you tell us? You already know. So they, they are broken, they are confused. They don't know what to do. Come on somebody. The best news Oh, they are tuning out the news. Hear what happened during the, uh, as, as Harvey began to rock the world and rock Texas and folks that, folks lost their home, lost what they had. And there was this lady who, my God, uh, she just arrived at the, what they call the places, the, the shelter. And when she arrived, the news media went to her with the mic excited that this woman must be very glad to, to, to speak her situation well she agreed and began to speak but after a while she got overwhelmed with her condition and said you you see me just come to the shelter and you come here putting mic before me remember she got started you see, I, i'm a fair person i am going to jump on the woman's side alone I, I gotta be fair she first started to respond as if it was okay to tell her stuff. Then after a while, she got overwhelmed by her condition and said, really, really, look at me. I'm shivering, I'm trembling. I got my children right there. And you come bringing a mic and asking me questions. And then she began to curse. Let me tell you why. Because they have lost confidence in the news. And, 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 I, and I got to differ from you right now. The news was not necessarily doing anything bad right now. Come on, come on, somebody. Because we want to know what happened to those folks. But she got overwhelmed and said, you news people got no use really. You couldn't help me when I was in my condition. And now I arrive at the shelter, then you're trying to help me. When I was in my condition, you were not here to help me. Before the, my God, before the calamity strike, you were not here to help me. And it's now after I'm broken and messed up and trembling, you're coming to talk to me. This is the condition of the world right now. And they are saying, you know, the news is, is okay, but really they can't help us. And they are looking for a vessel. Hallelujah. And will you be the vessel? God said, I'm not going to use angels. Come on. The most angelic uh, 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 operation on the earth right now are demons. Amen. If you ever see an angel rebuke them so bad, my God, my God, only hell can help them. Come on, somebody. Did you hear what I said? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So God know not what not to use. Come on, somebody. But everybody talking about aliens coming to everybody. On. Aliens. Every, aliens coming. And they see a cloud up front. They say aliens. And, and all kind of stuff. So God know we can't use that. If God begin to use that, folk going to begin to lose their mind. Come on, somebody. Are you there? And God can use animals. Because animals. Come on, somebody. God got to use people. 
Amen. And if you look in your mirror and see that you are, come on somebody, you are a human being. Not only are you a human being, you are born again. Come on somebody, you are saved. Come on, help me here somebody. Let me tell you the, the word from it's called the acts of the harvesters. Come on, somebody. Amen. You are saved, you are baptized, you are sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. God said, when you look in your mirror and see that person, point on yourself and say, God, the angels can't speak for me. Come on, somebody. The animals can't speak them for me. So I will go. Amen. Where you want me to go? Somebody praise the Lord and put some flavor on put some flavor on the word right now. Amen. Look on that person in the mirror and say, in the name of Jesus, in spite of my trouble, in spite of my pain, in spite of my sickness, in spite of trouble in my home, in spite of trouble in my family, in spite of trouble on my job, in spite of trouble in my finances, I am willing to go where you want me to go. I'm willing to do what you want me to do. I'm willing to say what you want me to say. I'm willing to be somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Uh, uh, tell, uh, tell Texas, uh, tell Louisiana, uh, I know Tennessee. Uh, tell them, uh, don't worry, uh, we've got the word. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, Sheba, uh, we are glad for the shelters, but you need the word. Uh, come on, somebody. We are glad for those who are helping to feed you. Uh, but we know you need the word. Uh, we know you need to know what's going on. Uh, you need to know what's coming. Uh, you, my God of mercy here. Uh, Sheba, uh, we know the Bible says in Amos 8:11, there'll be famine for the word. Don't worry. They are waiting for you. Don't worry. No matter how they pretend. And right now their hearts are softened. Their hearts are softened right now. That's why we are declaring nine days of world revival storm. Hallelujah. And every time in the physical that there are manifestations. Hallelujah. God is ready. For the spiritual manifestation. Amen. Physical storm. Get ready to be used by God. For a, a spiritual storm. It means that you're not going to do some little witnessing. Some little prayer. It means that in these next nine days. My God. Glory to God. Going to be the most prayer you're going to pray. Come on somebody. Even though you're exhausted. Come on somebody. And even though some of you are half asleep, go ahead. I'm going to be like Jesus and go on. Get me that vision. Come on, while you're sleeping. Oh, you, uh, you don't like this preacher. Eh? Come on, I ain't going to bother nobody. And say, no, keep up, keep up, keep up. No, come on, you, you've been like 20 odd days. Come on, I ain't, come on, I ain't no hard driver. I ain't no fool. Come on, somebody. I'm going to be like Jesus. If you can't keep up, my God, I'm glad you're here. Come on, somebody, sleep on if you have to sleep. Amen. At 10.30, we'll wake you up. Come on, somebody. But when we wake you up, amen, you have a requirement. You must have a dream. Come on, somebody. You meet me, somebody. I ain't no fool. I know you've been through it. There's nobody like you. Been through so much, so many, so many, so many, so many days. Because you have paid a lot. You have done a lot. You have been here every day fasting, praying, preaching, they ain't seen that in the world. Almost all the preachers that leave here and got back to their country, all they're talking about is what's going on in New York. So I, I'm not going to spoil it. Come on, they, 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 all they're talking about, they're calling their colleagues and saying, you need to go to New York. Who have visa from who have no visa? They tell them you need to go to New York. Come on, somebody. So in spite of our troubles, in spite of our mistakes, in spite of what we did when we should not do, in spite of when we should be there with him and God, hallelujah, in spite of all that, he has caused, hallelujah, the aroma of your anointing to gone up 
into the sky come on somebody and God has revealed unto you the things to come hallelujah hallelujah and the acts of the harvesters are upon you and as the preacher said earlier in Jeremiah chapter 9 in times of calamity even the world know that they can't they cannot rely on the commentators it's easy to comment after folks have died i don't want to say everybody want to say why they died have you ever noticed that whenever somebody died everybody have the answer why they died come on somebody but god is ready to use you as harvesters hallelujah can somebody praise him? Can somebody praise him? Can somebody praise his name? Hallelujah. And we thank God for what's happening right now in Atlanta. As I'm preaching, they are preaching right now. Hallelujah. Come on, you go ahead and give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. And we are calling upon all the churches of the world because Harvest Army Amy wasn't called by God to be a one denomination church. That's not our calling. That's why we don't go and put down churches. Amen. If something is wrong, and we preach the word and they hear the word. I don't believe in calling church names of some pastor going to the pulpit and they call other pastors' names and name of churches. That's not my calling. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna preach as hard as I need to preach. But I ain't gonna, I'm gonna damage a pastor or damage a church. Come on, somebody. For God can get somebody saved through them. Come on, somebody. Am I losing you? Am I losing you? Somebody here. Glory to God. So God anointed this ministry. Amen. To raise up the body of Christ worldwide. Though we don't qualify financially nor ecclesiastically or all of the colleagues. Amen. God has anointed you. Amen. To be a symbol of the real harvester. The soul winner. Hallelujah. And it's time for his acts. These next nine days. <laughs> get moving. This next nine days. Get moving like you never moved before. Amen. Get moving. Be praying like you never prayed before. Be preaching like you never preached before. Amen. Be, 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 be witnessing like you never witnessed before. Try to do it. Amen. I plan on my way to church today to surprise the driver who won't take me. You know, to, and to stop at 241st and preach a five minutes so I could say it up there, but they didn't come to pick me up. <laughs> so I can't say it in my sermon. Oh, my. oh God, I'm I have to come, I have to drive myself, and then I was late, you know. <laughs> Come on, somebody, because that's the time now. If if there's an if, if there's ever an important time to do that little preaching is now. Believe me, no matter how you're little scared, do it now. It doesn't make sense to rise up full of, of, of motivation at the time when it's not most demanded and needed. Right now they are scared. Come on, Harvey and the flood of damaged America the worst ever in American history 200 billion dollars with a B that's almost quarter trillion dollars anybody ever said trillion in your in your life I bet most of you never said trillion in your life you never said trillion dollars in your life come on somebody quarter trillion dollars is more than 10 times the entire economy of Jamaica you know what I said Come on, it's more than 10 times all the money in Jamaica. Come on. And that's what this is going to cause. Quarter trillion dollars is going to cost. It's never been like this in America. And then we hear that there's another hurricane called Irma coming. Are you coming with me? Come on. Come on, and remember when the prophecy came of the floods coming upon the U.S. Amen. There was a word that was prophesied called precursor. We don't know perfectly how the precursor going to manifest because actually Harvey struck three times. Did you know that? Three times it went back out and struck second time and went back out and struck the third time. 
So we don't know if Harvey was a precursor for Irma. For usually the precursor is weaker. Come on. Then what's coming? And if, my God of mercy, and if Harvey can do this, come with me, church, come with me, church. They said that Harvey costs more money, come on, than Sandy and Katrina together. And you know, when the news media say 100,000 houses damaged, you know it's more. Because they are called upon to, to prevent chaos. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. So this is the moment. This is the moment their hearts are softened. So we want to do nine days. Hallelujah. Of world revival. Storm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says now is the day of salvation. Am I right? It says seek in the Lord. Come on somebody. While he may be found. Help me come on. Help me harvest us. He said call you upon him while he's there. Come on somebody. Glory to God. He says in Proverbs 19 verse 8. He that Get it to wisdom, love it his own soul. He says in Proverbs 22 and verse 3, he said, A prudent man foreseeth evil woo, and hide himself. Huh. Come on, somebody. But the foolish pass on and are punished. They see what's happened with Harvey and they take it lightly. There are some folks who have left the state. So we can't go back. We have built it. Come on, have you seen those houses? Come on, let's not, let's not just glance over. Those houses, houses and houses, they are like two times the size of New York houses. And they are underwater. Come on, come on. Uh, thousands and thousands of blocks. Come on, man. Uh, my God, my tens of thousands of houses. Have, have you seen the alligators in the street? Come on, somebody. Oh, my God of mercy here. Have you seen what has happened? Have you seen the people in wheelchairs underwater? Can I tell you something? In the Revelation, I don't know if you have said it here, but in the Revelation, as, as I step out into the waters, I hear some churches, you know, beginning to get ready to, to, to preach. Did I say it? Come on. Right in the shelters now, they are having church service. Come on, I've been singing and come on somebody. And some churches are waking up. Come on somebody. And even as they get ready to give help. Amen. They know they have to give help. Amen. Under glory to God. Under the power. Amen. Of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Even one church that said they could not open their door. When they came under pressure. That's the biggest church in America. You have to understand revelation. You have to understand revelation. When we hear a church. And like a church getting ready. Because now it's time. And we find that the largest church in America. Is put in a spot. Come on, somebody. And I'm not speaking against him. I'm not like, I can't do that. But they are put in a spot. And when they are put in a spot, they got up and say, Oh, come, come, come. Listen, thousands will get saved. My God, my God. Because it's a time for it. It's the act of the harvesters. It's the act of the soul winners. In no mistake, why God gave the word. It's the act of the ages. Because no, we have arrived on the time of the harvesters. Hallelujah. Now is the time. That's why it says in Proverbs 10 and verse 5, He that sleepeth in harvest, Hallelujah, is a son that causes shame. Yes, we sleep in harvest. We bring shame, my God, to the farm. To the vineyard that God has planted 
For God sent his son. Am I right? Glory to God. And planted him. Hallelujah. In the vineyard of the earth. In the vineyard of Africa. In the vineyard of Haiti. In the my God Jesus. God sent his son. And it says in James 5. <clears throat> hallelujah. And verse 7. He said a husband man. That is God. He waited for the fruit of his vineyard. Come on somebody. But not only he waited. Glory to God. The Bible said that the fruit out there is waiting to be picked Romans 8 19 20 he says the creature somebody come at me come at me come at me if you're awake if you're awake if you're awake say amen if you're sleeping let me hear some snore amen remember I need that vision at the end Come on, somebody. Oh, you better wake up right now. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in Proverbs 14 and verse 25, he said, a true witness. Lift your hand if you're true. Lift your hand if you're mm, I call him mercy. He said, a true witness. Deliver it, souls. Come on, somebody. Lift your hand if you're wise. Don't be shy. Lift your hand if you're wise. Put it down. He said in Proverbs 11 and verse 30, he that Winneth souls uh, is wise. Uh, lift your hand if your feet is beautiful. Uh, don't be shy. Come on. The men not in this. The ladies alone in this one. Don't lift your feet. Just lift your hands. Come on, somebody. If your feet are beautiful, uh, oh, put down your hands. He says in Isaiah 52 and verse 7, he saw oh, beautiful uh, upon the mountains uh, are the feet uh, of those that bring the tidings. Uh, lift your hand if you are the light of the world. Uh, come on somebody put down your head he said in Daniel 12 and verse 3 he said the day that turn amen the sinner unto righteousness is like a shining light that burning forever can somebody say amen he says in John 4 and verse 34 my meat is to do the will of him let me see if you want the real thing you prefer the meat you are uncommon you are a time waster amen you like to pay attention to that which is important lift your hand if you are like that he uh, put down the head he said my meat is to do the will of him that sent me stand everybody hallelujah it's the acts of the harvesters it's up on us we did we did not plan this come on somebody but it's up on us in romans 1 16 17 he said i'm not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god can we gather at the altar all of you come and just confirm and agree with the lord that you will be active as a harvester in this time in this time that's most needed for the acts of the harvesters Yes, Lord. I was going to preach some more, but the Lord said, No, that's enough. Glory to God. Glory to God. Tell the Lord, send me. Tell you, don't, don't go by your ability. I was talking to an individual this week, last week, and the person was telling me how unqualified they were. You know, say, I'm unqualified. Come on, somebody. They're not in adultery or fornication or, or doing nothing now. But they're using the past on themselves. I said, the Lord, they buke you. They thought they were doing good. I said, oh, Bishop, my past was this. You know, you know what I did in the past? And I, I said, the Lord, they buke you. You think you're doing good? Come on. If your past come back in your, in your mind, when you're ready to go witness, rebuke yourself. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Don't tell folks your past and... Come on, and, and, they, and they can't know. Come on, someone. Don't tell them nothing. Come on. How when you're married, don't tell them nothing. Come on. Don't even tell God because it's over. No, I know I got into trouble here. Amen. It's over. Don't even tell God. For the Bible says in, in, in Corinthians 5, 17, somewhere, it says, any man in Christ. Come on, come on, come on. He's a new creature. Old things are past of it. 
Ah, you don't know the old man. You don't know it. Come on. You're free to say, I am not that man. Oh, I'm giving you date and whatever. I said, no, no, it's not me you saw. No, you didn't see me. You didn't hear about me. I'm a new creation. Let me tell you, if you don't do it like how I say it, I'm telling you, you'll more go to hell because you don't believe God for his forgiveness. Did you hear what I said? You think it's deep. Uh, Bishop, you know what I did? In 1995, you know, I didn't look spiritual. The Lord rebuke you. Come on. God don't lie. He says forgiven forever 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 them sins are forgiven they cannot come up again you ain't saying amen you ain't saying amen to me and god made you able tonight hallelujah to go on witness is there any among you not saved? let me pray for you first any among you not yet saved us come right now come right here any among you not yet saved us come right here. i'm going to lead you to jesus because we're going to reach the loss and it don't make sense we go reach the loss and you're right here we didn't reach you glory anyone among you right here not say you can come right now glory in the meantime just begin to pray right now and say lord me say i'm ready lord i'm ready lord to be a harvester let the acts of the harvesters be upon me yes go ahead go ahead it's major hallelujah <coughs> hallelujah jesus Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Laraba city da baba baba. Klana kasa kata ya. La papa sata da baba. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. <coughs> I said, Lord, I'll go where you want me to go. I'll be what you want me to be. Hallelujah. I'll say what you want me to say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go tell it on the mountain. I will go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere. Let your anointing be upon me, Lord. Let sick be healed. Let dead be raised. Let the blind eyes be open. Let the dumb talk. Let the deaf hear. Let souls be saved. Come on, talk to the Lord. Those who are watching by television, watching by the internet. Yes, receive the anointing of the harvester. The acts of the harvester is upon you. Receive it. You faithful folks who have been watching night after night, and some of you year after year, God, receive the anointing of the acts of the harvesters. Receive it right now. Let it manifest in your life. Whatever is wrong in your life, just confess it to the Lord and get ready to be used by Him. Don't condemn yourself. Don't cancel yourself. It's only a prayer away. And say, Lord, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. And let God use you. Anyone who struggle a little with witnessing like you're a little shy or fearful, let's come right now. I'm going to lay hands upon you and you're going to be the boldest person. Amen. After today. Anybody look little shy and you're a little afraid, come stand right here. Right here. I'm going to lay hands upon you. You ain't going to be shy no more. You ain't going to be scared no more. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you're scared to come, then you're the one I'm talking about. Glory to God. Come and stand right here. You're a little afraid, a little afraid to go out. Uh, come and stand. Come, come, my brother. Come right in. Don't be afraid to come. If you're afraid to come, then you're the one I need to pray for. Lift your hand, young man, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke fear in the name of Jesus. And I release boldness in the name of Jesus. I release fire. I release the anointing upon you now. Woo. Uh, the harvest anointing. When you open your mouth, it'll be like fire. Ba, 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 